Aloha kako, kakayaka, good morning, buongiorno, ohayo gozaimasu, love you everyone. Uh, my name is Master Gina Musetti, and I have a little story for you all today. So yesterday we were talking about love and how important it is that we feel love, that we love our hearts and souls so that we can strengthen the light within us and give our love to humanity. So yesterday I have a wonderful patient. She is in her 70s. And last week, one week ago, yesterday, she had a total knee replacement on her right knee, the second one. <clears throat> she had had a total knee replacement on that knee many years ago. But over the years, her um, bone density had decreased some and it caused the implant, the metal in her knee to shift about 10 degrees, which caused her leg to start to bow out and was causing excruciating pain in her ankle. So because her knee was no longer in alignment, it created blockages in the flow of energy, chi, which then led to blockages in the flow of blood, shui. Chi dao shui dao, where energy goes, blood follows. So the excessive energy and blood was pooling in her ankle. And she has a very, very, very busy job, uh, very mentally challenging, physically challenging, and she loves her work because she serves others. And she's done this work all her life and she just couldn't imagine giving it up. But in an effort to try to relieve her ankle pain, she started coming to the Master Shah Dao Center more and tracing Dao calligraphy and receiving the light balls and going to yoga classes. And pretty soon she realized she's really too busy to continue working. So at um, the joy of her family, her children and grandchildren, she finally decided to retire and have the knee surgery. Well, coming out of the knee surgery, she said the pain was like a thousand. Now, this is a very tough woman. She has been through many surgeries. She has had many injuries in her job over her lifetime. But she said this was the most excruciating pain. So they had to give her a second nerve block in her knee to bring the pain down to a level where she would be allowed to go home. So she went home, but then the swelling and pain was so bad that she wasn't able to get up and, you know, go about the house by herself. So she elected to go into the rehab um, facility hospital so that she could um, be monitored and do the physical therapy and occupational therapy there. And then she and her daughter reached out to me and said, can you please come? So I, I said, yes, of course. I was so honored and delighted that they called me. <clears throat> so I went yesterday and we were talking a little bit and I asked her what light balls had she received and what calligraphy was she tracing and what music was she listening to what videos was she watching and she was doing everything she possibly could um and when i got there 
She had just finished her last physical therapy for the day. She has three sessions a day, occupational therapy and physical therapy. And um, the physical therapist asked her, how is your pain level now? And she said, oh, it's not too bad. Maybe just 7.5. Okay. So I know that if this woman is saying 7.5, it's really completely over 10 for the rest of humanity. <laughs> so and if she thinks 7.5 is not too bad, I mean, she's very, very, very stoic. <clears throat> So I said, okay, and I, I just stood at the end of her bed and I just put my hand next to her ankle, little, little, you know, distance between my hand and her ankle. And she had told me that she was, um, tracing the calligraphy for light, greatest light. And so in my mind, I began tracing the calligraphy, chanting in my mind, singing greatest light, while just holding my hand next to her ankle, little distance away, not touching her. And we continued our conversation. And then I said, can you feel that? And she said, yes, it feels like pins and needles are going into my ankle. I said, okay, good. So I just kept sending her love, all my love, all my love, all my love, and feeling so grateful for the opportunity to be there with her, and so grateful to Mother Earth, to Master Shah for creating this Tao-like calligraphy, so grateful for all the beings of love and light that come when we trace the Tao Oneness calligraphy. So then after a few minutes, I put my other hand on the other side of her ankle. So now I'm like this, just with my hands, just close to her ankle, not touching her. And she said, wow, I have electric shocks going up my leg, which her whole leg was in pain because all the muscles and tendons and nerves and sinews and everything was trying to realign because now her knee is straight and so the the muscles which had been overcompensating for the knee being out of place for so long um, had to realign themselves and it was very very painful so I just kept doing what I was doing and then um, I traced the calligraphy for her she just was laying there quietly with her eyes closed and just sending her all of my love, all of my love, all of my gratitude, my love for the saints, my love for Mother Earth, my love for everyone and everything that was assisting her. And after a little while, I got the message that the session was complete for that Day. So I sat down and I had been there for about an hour and I said, how do you feel now? She rotated her ankle, moved her foot around, lifted up her knee, stretched and bent her knee. And she said, I have no pain. And she said, thank you so much for coming. She said, I have not even slept three hours straight since I've been here because the pain is so excruciating. I just keep waking up. So she was doing everything that she could, but sometimes we just need a little boost. We need a friend to be there for us. So on this day, please go out, tell a friend, a loved one, a co-worker, a patient, a client, a family member, how much you love them. Give them all your love. In your mind, constantly feel heaven's love. Feel your love for your heart and your love for Mother Earth, your love for 
all that is good in the world and all universes. I hope that this little story inspires you. I am not special. Anyone can do this. Anyone can become a Tao healer. You can find out more on our website, drsha.com. Don't hesitate. Be the love that you want to see in the world. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. And I love you. Until next time, ahoy ho.